Hi guys, so we are here with another video. Hello. <laughs> um, this is sort of a cross between the Mindful series um, and my muse for my creative year. I, at the time of filming this, don't know which one I'm gonna title this as. And I may leave, the, leave this little clip of me talking about that in their video, I might not, I don't know, but I'm trying really hard to be more mindful in the, not only in the art room, but in the house. Use less plastic. Uh, be more mindful of what I buy. Buy sustainable and local when I can, um, to the extent that we even bought a new bed from a local company um, that was at least in part made with sustainable and recycled materials, organic cotton and that sort of thing. So um, I'm trying to do it. I'm not gonna be able to ever probably be plastic free. Um, there's just too many things that I need to use in my everyday life that are plastic or that have plastic in them. That doesn't mean that where I can, I can't cut back. And so I'm going to when I can. And right now my muse is screaming at me to do something about the kitchen scrubby sponges. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I've spoken before about in the art room and in um, the kitchen. I used scotch, green, and yellow kitchen scrubby sponges. In fact, I think it's in the art, the mindful um, video, being mindful in the art room uh, video. I don't know which part it is where I talk about um, cleaning. It might be part two. It could be part three. I don't remember where we talk about cleaning your art supplies, what to do with the water and all of that. I show my current icky sponge. Um, but I'm really trying to get away from that. Those sponges are made, they're all plastic and they're not decomposable. They're not recyclable like they're just yeah they're just clogging up the landfill so I watched a lot of videos searched over the internet to get a lot of ideas and then finally stumbled across something that yes I could buy but I also could just make and so that's kind of where we're at today so I'm going to make my own sort of a scrubby sponge thing it's kind of a cross between a rag and a sponge um, what you're going to need to do it is some old towels and something scratchy for one side, like this is burlap. Um, now this burlap looks thrashed and distressed, so to speak, because it is, I washed it. Um, this is a burlap ribbon, 30 yards of it from the floral department at the local fabric store uh, and craft store. And um, I took the whole roll, I unrolled it, I put it in the washing machine and washed it because I knew it was gonna do this and I knew it was gonna fray and pill and I wanted it to do it before I actually made my sponges and not after. I have lots of rags. We talked about them in one of the Being Mindful videos. And so I went and grabbed a piece, a bigger piece of a rag we don't use often. And I cut it into strips that are about six and a half inches high, uh, high this way. And then the width of the towel. I used this piece of four and a half by six and a half inch cardstock as a template. And then I cut two rectangles, single thickness, and I sewed them together. Um, now I have a serger or an overlocker depending on where you are in the world and what you call it um, So I went ahead and surged all the edges on that that machine. You don't have to do that. You could leave it raw um, You could zigzag it um, if you have a regular sewing machine. So you are going to have to sew for this project um, If you don't sew, maybe you have somebody in your life who can make you some of these um, there are Etsy sellers that sell um, reusable sponges um, uh, there's a line of sponges called the Unsponge, um, and they're sold on Etsy. I'll link it below. I have the stuff I wanted to just make them. So, um, I did want it a little bit cushiony, not too, I mean, it's not like a sponge, but this is thick terry cloth. Um, and having one layer, two layers instead of one makes it a little bit thicker. Now you could just use it like this in your kitchen and it makes a nice little spongy rag thing. I really want it to be scrubby on one side, so that's where the burlap comes in. So I cut the burlap in, uh, how long are these? Um, they're about 16 inches approximately. So we're gonna fold them in half. And I'm going to surge around the edges of these too. And then we're going to sew it to the back side of the terry cloth. So I'm going to go surge all of these together and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so now we have eight of these, our double layer ter terry cloth, all surged or zigzagged together around the edge. And then we also have eight of these, double layer of burlap, all zigzagged or surged around the edge. Now, the reason you want to zigzag or sur surge around the edge before you put these together is because otherwise, every time you get these wet, the terry cloth is going to fray like crazy and the burlap is going to unravel. Um, so you really, really, really want to do some kind of finish around the edge. Um, this is basically just loosely woven string. And so, yeah, if you don't do something to try to seal it, it's not going to last very long. Um, and that being said, it's very messy. And if I could, I would show you my pants because I have black leggings on, which are now speckled with white spots. <laughs> um, okay, so once you have these sewn together, and you know, for what you're going to use them for, they don't. You'll you'll notice this one's not that. It's a little bit smaller. Each one of these is a little bit different. So I might pick through them and match up ones that are close. What I want to do is take these, these are from the serger, this is, it leaves these tails on every corner. Um, I'm going to tuck them towards the middle on both pieces and then I'm going to straight stitch on my regular sewing machine all the way around the edge to sew these together. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. All right, once you have them together they're going to look something like this and I think it's going to be a good you know, kitchen sponge or even to clean my hands. The burlap is just rough enough that it's going to get, you know, the paint off my hands, which is one of the reasons I like the scotch sponge. Um, also, um, to get, you know, that stuff off the inside of your dish pans and um, those kind of things that you hand wash. Um, it's just rough enough to get it off um, without um, scratching the pan. That's another issue, uh, I think. Uh, you also um, um, probably should soak your pans anyway if this isn't scratchy enough to get it off. Um, which, you know, I've been known to cook something and then... Anyway, that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> um, but I think these are going to work really well. And when they're past it and they're, you know, not usable anymore, I can compost them, I can recycle them. Um, there's some places around the country that recycle fabrics. Um, but I also, if they have to go in the landfill, at least it's fabric, it's going to biodegrade. Um, and um, yeah, so this is going to be cool. Now, when you are picking your fabric, the burlap is an or um, generally is an organic material. Um, but you want to make sure your burlap and your terry cloth probably are all or mostly cotton um, and that they themselves don't have plastic in them. Um, but this, even if they have a little bit of plastic type materials in them, it's still probably going to be less than a kitchen sponge. Um, so anyway, give it a try, see what you think. And um, yeah, I'm going to give these a shot and I may send a couple to a couple of people I know who might enjoy them and see what they think. That's it for right now. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, hit that little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos when they come out. Um, if you don't have a serger, like I said, take your different components and just zigzag around the edge. Use a small tight zigzag and go around two or three times before you sew your components together and that will work just fine. If you don't have burlap, um, you could use some other kind of scratchy fabric. Um, something that's washable, something that's all or mostly cotton, natural fibers. Um, you could also, if you're just looking to save money, maybe use some plastic um, netting, some plastic like onion bag type netting. I haven't tried it with that, but you could try it. Um, so see what you think. Um, and yeah, if you'd like to be part of my creative year, you don't know what that is. It's a Facebook group where we share creative ideas and inspiration. And the link is in the description below along with my Linktree link, uh, which has all my social media, the places you can support the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook, including uh, Teespring merch and um, Spoonflower, Redbubble, my Etsy shop, where to buy my book, um, my Amazon affiliate store, I have written a book, uh, and more. And the most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day, do something nice for yourself, maybe the planet, and uh, you deserve it. So does uh, planet Earth. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. I'll see you later. Bye, guys.